Welcome back to this week's episode. So in this episode, we will focus on how we can create this expandable app bar. Uh, I hope the audio and uh, the text is a bit better this episode. Uh, let me know down in the comments. And before we start, just a word from the sponsor. Get a free full month of Skillshare and stream more than 18,000 online classes on subjects like design, business and tech. After a while, and you feel like this isn't for you, you can always cancel a subscription and not pay anything. So don't wait, try it out now. The link is in the description. So just for the example, uh, we will use this normal scaffold project. Uh, so let's start by removing this app bar. So what we'll need to do is to remove this app bar so we can create our own custom app bar. Um, so, so instead of this body uh, with this whole center widget, so this text in here, we will remove that so we can make room for our custom scroll view. So this custom scroll view, if we control press on it, it takes a, let's see there, it takes a list of slivers. So let's add a sliver app bar. There are many different kinds of slivers, but we'll just focus on the app bar for now. So if we create a uh, sliver app bar, we will see that we have this normal, normal app bar. Uh, so let's add some properties to it so we can see that we have a expanded height. So if we run that, we can then see that we have the expanded height right there. And you can set this to whatever you want, we'll just have 200. Uh, and then let's add these properties. So you can read about these properties in the sliver app bar if you control press on it. Uh, oh no, if you control press on the floating you can see the text about each boolean. Uh, I can show it later also. So let's add this flexible space. So flexible space, you can add a flexible space bar. So if we check that, it can take a title and a background and if the and a boolean for if the title should be centered. Uh, so if we save that, we can see that nothing really changes. Uh, but what we can do is add a background to it. So I would just take image from the network or internet and you can have an asset image or whatever you see fit. If we save that, we can see that the image is loaded onto this uh, expanded app bar. And then we can see that if we control press again on the flexible space bar, we have a title. So if we go back and we can see that we have a title, I'll just put a text called title for now. You can see that it added a title. So right now we can't see that it scrolls. And that's because we need a, a kind of filler for this body. So if we take this text we had before in the body, and we put that in there and we save, you can see what that we have this uh, scaffolded body that we got before and it still works. So if you now scroll on this, you can see that the title is going up to the top and now down. So it's animating between the the scroll positions. So if we would remove the floating, uh, we can actually remove that. I forgot what it does. Let's see. Floating. Where the app bar should become visible as soon as the user scrolls towards the app bar. Uh, otherwise the user will need to scroll near the top of the scroll view to reveal the app bar. Yeah, let's have that to false then. Then pinning, uh, pinned. If we remove this though, uh, we can see that if we scroll, you can see that the, the full, the, it doesn't lock down to the bottom or the, the smaller size. So we need to have that to pin to true. And now that you can see that we have this, let's just change this to true again. Yeah, yeah, that's the problem. So if we have this to true or don't set anything to floating, if we scroll up, you can see that the title is disappearing and we don't want that. So we set that to false. Uh, so that is the example of the, the sliver app. We can al always also have other kind of children for the, the body. So there's this sliver filler remaining. That's just for an example. Uh, you can also use the sliver list and the sliver list takes a sliver delegate a sliver child delegate. 
And if you want, I can make another tutorial for this, but I just want to keep this tutorial short. So this will just focus on the Sliver app bar, and it's a very easy and handy app bar. Uh, so if you enjoyed the tutorial, please let me know in the comments, like the video, dislike if you uh, don't like it, and like it if you do. And I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.